Good morning. I'm still reporting on the coup. On Thursday, the United States Supreme Court blocked the Biden administration from using an illegal loophole to continue to allow illegal immigrants with criminal records to enter the United States. The ruling upheld a ruling by a Texas federal judge striking down Biden's Department of Homeland Security's September 2021 ruling that illegals with criminal records could remain in the U.S. at the discretion of the DHS. The loophole opened the floodgates to thousands of criminals to not only cross the southern border illegally, but then, if detained by Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, be immediately released to go where they wanted within the United States. Now, with inflation at 8.6% and climbing, you're going to need some help to get back to financial safety. Call Noble Gold's experts and they will share knowledge of gold IRAs so you won't have to worry about a thing. And if you're quick, they're giving away an incredible one-tenth ounce American Eagle gold-proof coin with every qualifying IRA or 401k rollover. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold. Call the team now at 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. After nearly one year of court battles with the border wide open to even the worst criminal elements, a lawsuit brought by Texas and Louisiana has succeeded in stopping the flow, at least temporarily, until the Supreme Court can hear oral arguments in the case during their December 2022 argument session. By then, according to the former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich, after the November 8th election, Republicans will control both houses of Congress and will doubtless return to an even more stringent border policy such as the one President Trump had in place. Congress will also probably pass a funding bill to finish President Trump's wall across the southern border. In a troubling email statement made to the Epic Times, a DHS spokesperson said the DHS is obligated to and will continue to abide by the decision as long as the decision remains in effect. But the whole point of Texas and Louisiana continuing to pursue relief from the courts was because DHS was using this illegal loophole to continue the flow of criminal illegals unabated. Still, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton celebrated the Supreme Court's ruling as another win for Texas and border security. The Biden administration must detain illegal aliens with criminal convictions. It's the right legal decision, and it's what's best for Texas and our nation. One can't help but wonder what in the world the Biden administration is up to. No good for the United States. However, if you were an enemy of the United States and interested in literally taking it over, then one could see why they would want to flood the nation with as many criminals as they could to weaken the nation generally. I'm still reporting from just outside the citadel of world freedom. Good day.